dear student study we have seen maxima and minima the first derivative test today we are going to discuss the second derivative test the point at which the function attains the local maxima or local minima is known as extreme value of the fx this is also known as point of external the necessary condition for f a to be local maxima or minima for f x is that f dash a is equal to zero if it exists. Now, second derivative test for maxima and minima. The following steps are to be followed. See the steps very carefully. Write f x. Now, why I have written write f x? You may think that f x will be given. No. In the word problems, f x will not be given. You have to decide the f x. What will be the f x? Suppose volume is asked, surface area is asked. Then surface area volume formula you have to write, and that will be your f x. Then first step is find the first derivative that is f dash x. Then equate f dash x to zero. Equate. f dash x to zero because for maxima or minima f dash x is equal to zero. Find the value of x. Say a. Find f double dash x. Now put the value of x in f double dash x. If f double dash a is less than zero. Then a is point of maxima. If f double dash a is greater than zero, then a is point of minima. To find the maximum or minimum value of the given function, that is to find the f max or f minimum, put the value of x in f x. That will give you. The maximum value of the function, or minimum value of the function. Important point to note: the second derivative test fails if f double dash a is equal to zero. So remember two things: you have to see this that f double dash f dash x is zero. Get the value of x. Find the value of x. Then find the f double dash x. Put the f value of f double dash x in f double dash x, and that will be the step. Important is f double dash a is less than zero, a is point of maxima. f double dash a is greater than zero, a is the point of minimum. To find the f max or f minimum, put the value of x in f x. That will be giving you the maximum value of the function or minimum value of the function. The second derivative test fails if f double dash a is equal to zero.